I know this post game video is late. I'm sorry about that. Been a long and crazy week. I know we're already past Thursday night football. It's Friday as I'm recording this. The uh, Vikings beat the Redskins 19-9, but the Vikings aren't my team. The Eagles are, and it may have been a few days. Eagles? Eagles? It may have been a few days. But I am still pissed at you! I'm pissed at you! Well, let me explain why I might be slightly upset at Sunday's loss against the Cowboys. First and foremost, I hate losing to the goddamn Cowboys. I despise the Dallas Cowboys. I can't stand the Cowboys. I spit on the Cowboys. Pah! Pah! Spit on them! I hate the Cowboys, and I hate losing to the Cowboys even more, especially when the score is Birds 10, Cowboys 34. Now, 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 players, players, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Yeah, you played piss poor, but I don't think that was your fault. And it certainly wasn't Carson Wentz's fault. So don't go blaming the quarterback. You stay the fuck away from him. You stay the fuck away from Carson. The defense let the Cowboys walk all over them on Sunday. And that's somehow Carson's fault. There was a fumble at the beginning of the game that the Cowboys recovered. And that's somehow Carson's fault. Doug Peterson decided not to defer after winning the coin toss, which led to the fumble in the first place. And that's somehow Carson's fault. Huh? Carson, none of this I don't think any of this was your fault. Yeah, Carson Wentz threw a bad ball or two. But hey, every quarterback, on occasion, you're, you're going to throw a bad ball. Okay? You're going to throw a bad ball. You know. Carson Wentz doesn't throw bad balls that often, but he, he does. He makes mistakes. I admit, Carson Wentz makes mistakes. I'm not some idiot saying Carson Wentz is God on earth and can walk on water. I admit. Wentz made a few mistakes during Sunday's game, okay? There, I said it. I admit it. He made some mistakes. But this loss was not his fault! So you stay the fuck away from him. Let me tell you whose fault it is. Now that we've explained whose fault it's not, it's not Carson Wentz. It's, it's not the defense, it's not the offense. Let me tell you whose fault it is. I blame the coaching staff. I blame Doug fucking Peterson for, for not deferring the coin toss. I, I would have deferred. I would have deferred so I could have the ball during the second half. I would have deferred that toss. I blame the defensive coordinator and the offensive coordinator for not working hard enough to formulate a good game plan to stop these, this fucking Dallas Cowboys team. The Eagles deserve so much better than, this cur than, than Mike Groh and Jim Schwartz. We deserve so much better than these two people. I will literally fly... You, be you guys better clear out your fucking desks. You better start packing, motherfuckers, because I'm done with you! In fact, I will literally pay for a plane ticket to Philly, and I will pack your shit for you. Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of Lincoln Financial Field!
Doug, you can stay. I'm gonna let Doug Peterson stay, give him a fucking reprieve, because he made one mistake during this game. The one mistake he made was not deferring that toss. I honestly would have deferred the fucking toss. Honestly, I would have deferred. Yeah, it's partly his fault that we lost, but I don't think not deferring a coin toss is a fireable offense. No, what a fireable offense is, is this, is these fucking coordinators not making it their fucking business, which it is their goddamn business, to ensure that the offense and the defense performs as well as they can. And I think if we had new offensive and defensive coordinators, we could do so much better with the players we have. There is so much talent on this Philadelphia Eagles football team. And these offensive, and Mike Groh and Jim Schwartz, you're wasting it. You're, you're flushing it down the fucking toilet. I'm sorry, but that's just what I think. And that's just how the fuck I am. If Laurie and Roseman and Peterson have a single fucking brain cell between them, they're gonna fire these fucking coordinators and bring in new ones. I am so done with losing. Please, I'm begging you, just win again. Just get back in the goddamn win column. And another thing, on a personal note, hey, I had a fucking member of my family over, all right? A member of my family was over for, uh, for dinner. Now, he wasn't over for dinner. He came over specifically to lay into me about the Eagles. And he was just laying into it. I mean, he was saying things like, oh, die, Eagles, die. Bye-bye, Birdie. How about them boys? <laughs> Ain't I cute? God! Fuck! I mean, I know. I know. They're not Eagles fans. They support some other team. Not going to tell you who they support. But they sure as hell don't like the Cowboys. So when, 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 when these people, my family, of course, when, when these people lay into me about the Eagles losing to the Cowboys, come on. The, the fucking Cowboys? The Cowboys? God! And it really hurts because I recently moved to another part of the fucking country, all right? I moved to another part of the country in fucking February, living with my family until I can get on my feet, get my own place. You know how it is. And it's, it's, it just hurts because in my old, uh, in my old stomping grounds, my old stomping grounds, I was... I was constantly, as an Eagles fan, bombarded by a contingent of mouthy Cowboys fans. I was out here all the fucking time with these stupid people, just battling, just fighting, you know, just... Ugh. Now, as relieved as I am to be with people who hate the goddamn Cowboys as much as I do, because, I, as, as much as I do, the, the fact that they would berate my Eagles for losing to a team they don't like, the fact that they would gloat, that is just sick. That reminds me so much of these, of these sassy fucking cowboy fans. I mean, could we please at least beat the goddamn Bills on Sunday, please? Just win. I don't care what the score is. I don't care if you win by one point. Just win for God's sake, Eagles. I want to make more victory videos. Love supporting my Eagles. Love making victory videos. Love this, you know, providing new content.
But shit, I can't do nothing. Because my goddamn offensive and defensive coordinators fucking suck! I want Frank Reich back! I want Frank Reich back! God damn it, I want Frank Reich back! I want our Super Bowl winning offensive coordinator back! Hiring Jim Schwartz and Mike Grow. Who does who does this this the guy who hired these people? Who does he think he is? Chip fucking Kelly? God! I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted. My heart is broken. I'm defeated. Let me tell you, let me give you a little history lesson before I end this fucking video, because it's just shit now. The Aztecs, excuse me a minute. The Aztecs, okay, uh, Mexican tribal people, right? Mexican tribal culture. Uh, so it was a very sophisticated culture, had a lot of sophisticated cities. I had Tenochtitlan, had a, had a, you know, where Mexico City is now. You know, you can still find the ruins of Tenochtitlan beneath Mexico City. A lot, had a lot of things going for them, these Aztecs. Had a lot of things going for them before the conquistadors came over and ruined them. A lot of things going for them. And one of the things they did to, to, to please their gods, they thought, they thought that human sacrifices would make the gods happy. All right? They thought that, that sacrificing humans would make the gods happy. And the way they did that was they held them down onto a fucking, a fucking table, right? In front of God and everybody at the top of these... They had these fucking pyramid temples, right? You know the goddamn, you know the structures, these ziggurat thingy-mabobs. And they had steps leading up, leading up to the top of the ziggurat. And what they did was they, they would take their sacrifice and they would, they would hold him down on this fucking stone table, all right? And they would get a knife, cut open his chest, and rip out his heart and hold it up in front of God and everybody, you know. I believe they'd also cut off the head, and I know for a fact they kicked the fucking body down the temple stairs, right? I feel like that's what's been done to me these last two weeks. I feel like these other football teams have strapped me down to a fucking table, carved the fucking hole in my chest, ripped my heart open, and said, here you go, football demons! My heart is be my heart is bleeding green. It's beaten for the eagles. And what do they do? It's beaten for the birds. They take it out. They squash it. And they cut off my head. And they kick my body down the stairs. And they say, "Grab me another owl, plague. Here's another owl for the old Philadelphia Eagles." It's just a Philly? I mean, I know we'll play the Cowboys again later in the year. We might get revenge. I know we got a, an injured team. There's a lot of blood in the fucking locker room. I do know. I know the, our injured players are going to get healthy. We might get better. I, we might get better. I know. But I place the blame squarely on the offensive and defensive coordinators, on Mike Groh and Jim Schwartz, for not knowing what in the living fuck 
is going on? <sighs> Fuck this, I'll see you in the next one, folks. I'm done with it.